Hey folks, uh, Scott here, Open-Minded Movie Man, coming back to you with another video, and this time it's going to be a bit of a short review for the movie Creed 2. And um, overall, um, I'd say it's definitely an improvement over the first one, because to be honest, I thought the first Creed movie was really overrated and mediocre as hell. I like Stallone, his acting was not the problem, it just, I don't like what they did with his character. I thought overall... Creed was really poorly written as a character, and Michael B. Jordan's acting in the film, to be honest, was kind of mediocre as well, so I just felt like, then again, he wasn't really given good dialogue, and I felt like he could have upped his acting ability in that film, and he just, I wasn't that impressed with it. But I think this time, with a different director, and I think with better screenwriters, because the original director, Ryan... Let me see, what's what's his name? Ryan Cogler? Yeah, Ryan Cogler. He's, he also wrote, directed the first Creed movie. He didn't return for this one, but uh, someone else. And that guy's name for Creed 2 is uh, Stephen Capel Jr. And you had Sylvester Stallone this time write the screenplay. And I think that's why the film overall had an improvement. Not to mention um, Drago is back in this one. And it involves Drago's son. So at least the aspect of Drago is what kind of made me curious to give it a watch and, you know, go and see it. But since, but in other, in other news, to be honest, the reason being that I wanted to see this film is because um, yesterday was my birthday, and um, since I'm a member of the Alamo Victory at the Alamo Draft House, um, you get a free movie on your birthday, actually. And I figured, you know what, I might as well uh, take advantage of that and see this movie for free because at least I didn't pay anything other than uh, use, use my gas to drive to the movie theater. But anywho, um, yeah, I wanted to give this movie a chance, because, um, like I said, I wasn't really that impressed with the, uh, with the first one, because I thought overall it was overrated and mediocre as hell. This one I thought was an improvement. And um, I think Creed had a little bit more to fight for in this one. And, you know, he had to prove himself. I think Mike would... Michael B. Jordan's acting was improved in this one. I felt like there was a lot more dynamic to him, and um, he had to really learn because I'm not. I don't want to spoil the movie too much because he did get really owned in that first fight with Drago. It showed that you know emotions can get the best of you, especially when something when something from the past that had killed your father or someone had killed your father in the rain, and now you're facing his son, and then you're kind of you know, facing up against the guy that killed you in some way, that's not exactly an easy, easy thing to deal with, especially in life. So anyways, we see that, you know, in the beginning, Creed has really, you know, earned uh, the, the title of world champion, uh, of world champion. He's 23 and one, as it says in the, in the fight, he knocks out this one dude, I forget what his name is, but he basically uses his uh, speed and tax tactics to uh, to uh, defeat his opponent. So, however, there, we also notice the kind of effect that um, Ivan Drago has uh, has uh, succumbed to after losing that fight to Rocky. We learn that uh, he lives alone with his son somewhere in Kiev. I think it said Kiev, Ukraine, I believe. Um, it doesn't say in the in the summary plot or the Wikipedia su summary plot, but anyways, I could swear it's somewhere in U Ukraine, and he's basically uh, you know working kind of a kind of a hard dead end. Well, I don't know if it's a dead end, but it's a it's a job of, that probably no one wants to take. It involves a lot of manual labor and and strength to come back the stuff required to complete your skills in that job field. So, I guess in a way uh, we also see that a uh, Crete's son, who's played by this. Uh, Boxer, what's his name? Um, Florian Mont Montin. We're just calling. We just call him Florian. Um, he's he plays Drago's son in this one. He did a fairly good job, at least on the, at least when it came to doing the boxing scenes. He didn't have much dialogue, but with what he was given, I thought he did okay. And I thought you know, it also showed how. Uh, Drago himself has been, you know, affected by, uh, 
by the fact that he lost he lost everything. Well, he didn't lose his son, but he, his wife left him. He was in pretty much total disgrace, which I figured would be the case with uh, Drago's character. So we get to see that from from that aspect, and it was good to see that. I just wish they would have fleshed it out a little bit more to see why you know Drago was really that determined to win back the honor and the integrity of his uh, of his of his family legacy. So, but yeah, and like I said, uh, I like I said before with uh, Michael B. Jordan, he really did improve his he did improve in his performance. He, he had something more to fight for in this in this sequel. And uh, we also get to see that he's been dealing with things too, like uh, the estrangement from his adoptive mother, um, Creed's, Creed's uh, for probably original wife. I believe that same actress comes back, uh, Vasilla Richard. So yeah, for what she's in, she does okay, but she's not she's not in the film a whole lot. So, but we also see um, him trying to deal with the. Uh, his relationship to um, to uh, what's her um, Bianca? Uh, I'm guessing they've already married, or he did propose, but I guess they didn't show them, you know, getting married or something. So it's I felt like that's probably one of the drawbacks. I wish we just would have seen a quick wedding of some kind because he proposed. I remember there was him and uh, Rocky talking about how to propose, and thought that was kind of a funny scene there. And they do, and both. Um, both Stallone and Jordan do have good screen time together, and Stallone once again does fine in this role. Luckily, uh, I we th I know I uh, how should I put this? I thought they were going to try to make it seem like the cancer might return, but thankfully it didn't in this one. So that's the good news. So um, yeah, Stallone does fine. I think most most of the cast they do fine. I do think that Michael B. Jordan. Uh, is a lot more determined, especially after he gets really owned in this in his first fight scene with Drago, because he does he kind of goes through this slump, like he doesn't want to get hurt because you know he's going up against a f big, physical, strong, fast dude that just really just literally took just embarrassed him, and um, that's not always easy to come back from. And so, eventually, they go to this place in California to kind of get you know to where fires are reborn, and I like how they show that. We also show that, you know, Creed is uh, determined not to give up. I like how they show that in him. And um, we also see that Creed's dealing with the fact that Bianca's pregnant. And, um, yeah, it shows that it fleshes out a new dynamic for Creed. So I, I like the fact that it showed that Creed was willing to was going through a lot in this film, and um, he was able to overcome it in the end, and and uh, show that he was uh, show that he can be the well, spoilers. Um, if you haven't seen the film, spoilers, you can turn it off now and you can go see the film. Okay, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Okay, he ends up you know getting another uh, chance at Drago because mainly he was still technically the champion, but. Uh, it's big, mainly because when Drago did that little punch to the ribs, or he would uh, lay in another punch when he was down and he and he was already out, and so he was disqualified. But anyways, he gets another shot at Drago. He decides to take it upon himself, and this time he goes head to head. And I definitely, th and this time he definitely, and Creed definitely wins. And um, so yeah. Um, it was definitely a good fight right there, but um, I think the main problem with the film, other than the fact that we see improvement from uh, from the actors, and I think the the story aspect, it seems like it's been done before, and it's a bit predictable, because I had a feeling, that, oh, he's going to lose this fight, but he's going to win the next one, despite having a brutal beating from Victor Drago himself. But overall, I definitely think it was an improvement. I don't know what, uh, I know that Matt uh, probably saw this film, I guess he'll give his thoughts on it, but I like to think it's better than the first one, and it's, I don't think it's hard to do, and um, yeah, also, we also get to see Rocky reunite with his son Robert, so I'm glad they kind of gave us um, 
some uh, kind of closure on that. If anything, um, Stallone, don't do any more of, of Creek films. Um, stay away from them, you know? If they're going to do another, you know, Creed movie, I think you should stay out of it. I think you should um, do sequels that are good. and it's Not sequels like Escape Plan 2 and 3. I mean, do a movie with Jackie Chan that you uh, were going to do. Just, just don't kill off, just don't kill off your character with cancer, man. Rocky deserves better. Honestly, it should have ended at Rocky Balboa, but yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? But yeah, overall, I, I enjoyed the film. It was definitely, you know, worth the, at least a, 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 a look. At least, I'm, if, I may or may not see it again, but... I didn't have to pay anything for it, so that's the good news, but I end up thinking that it was a decent film, and yeah. Okay, as to what I would rate it, out of five stars, maybe three, three and a half, if, if, if I went with that rating system, so anyways. Anyways, I thought overall the sequel was definitely a, a huge improvement, and all the actors do fine in the roles. Just wish they would have flushed out the Drago side a little more. Um, the overall story was predictable. You, you know, if he's going to eventually find a way to get his confidence and drive and determination back to fight Drago. So, yeah, those are the things that kind of knock it down. But anywho, um, yep, I like the film and. If you really, if you're interested in checking out, I give it a watch. Okay, well that's gonna, that's gonna do it for me and pizza here. Mmm. I took a big bite. <laughs> Sorry about that. It was hamburger and fresh jalapeno, if that's what you're wondering. And I'm going to chug it down with this stuff. I do not really recommend this stuff, but if you have an energy drink craving, that's... If you have, like, a... If you like the rock star, I'd get these. I, I like the strawberry, the whipped strawberry flavor. Someone sent this to Matt, and um, it was good. I like it. But I wouldn't recommend drinking this every week. It's kind of like a once-in-a-month kind of deal, so... I only did this because, you know, it was my birthday, so there you have it. So, sorry if I um, get out of sync, so I apologize for that. Could be my Asperger's syndrome that I may or may not have. But anyways, I recommend going ahead and checking it out for all my subscribers. And if you're just now tuning into this video, um, give it a shot. I think you might like it. Anywho, um, I'm done and... I will see you guys later. Later.